Hi everyone, Marianne Markowitz. Instead of a Thursday morning live session, the hair looks good today. I just got back from my hairdressers. I thought, you know, I will just crank this out. I did my planning yesterday because I didn't think I'd have time today. So it's your bonus evening. It's Wednesday, if you're watching it now, somewhat live. How's the week treating you? Is it great? Are you bored to death at the office? Here are three things to think about if you're wanting to change careers, change jobs. Let me just give, share some insights for you. It's always a good time to be thinking about, am I happy with what I'm doing? And the question you need to ask yourself is, am I bored for the sake of being bored? And I say that because Oh, I can give you two examples. One, sometimes people do not give themselves credit for the value they are bringing to their job or their vocation. I've um, had a lot of encounters with hairdressers over the years, especially when we were um, full-time RVers. And some were just doing it to be doing it, and you could tell when you left. And some really love doing it. And they, they just love that their um, clients feel great when they leave. Um, I know a, a coach over in the Scottsdale area, his wife is one of the highest paid hairdressers in the country. And her philosophy is, I want my client to feel like the most beautiful thing when she leaves. But who would think that about a hairdresser? It's a very, very important vocation. Same thing with accountants on the, on the technical side. And yet very often as a recruiter, people will come to me and they'll say, oh, I'm just so bored. <laughs> and so the question is, talk to yourself like an interviewer. Just step back and start asking yourself some questions. And the quality of your life will depend on the quality of questions. Do you keep asking yourself the same question like, why am I stuck in this job instead of saying, where do I want to be in the next five years? And what do I want to do if I leave my current employer? Start upping the game with just those questions. I have one young man and he's way off into his career now, but he was um, a non-degreed accountant, always applying for accounts payable jobs. And I had one client who would not talk to him unless he had at least an associate's degree. And I finally just one day said, stop wasting your time. You have so much talent. Go to school. And the end of the story is he went to school. He went on to be an accounting manager. He's a controller now. So it's never too late. But you have to ask yourself, was he stuck or was he just choosing not to play at a higher level? So... Those are, those are two thoughts under that. Just start asking yourself the question, am I stuck? Um, where do I see myself in five years? What do I need to do for my education in order to be there in that next five years? And why do you wanna leave your current employer? This is the one that so often with my career coaching clients, they get stuck on. So. Ask yourself, you know, play the interviewer, be your coach and say, why do I want to leave my current employer? And then answer the question and listen to yourself. And this is very important, this little tidbit. If you're running away from your current employer because you're unhappy, step back and say, why have I changed jobs the last three times? Is there a pattern? Generally, there is. And if you're always leaving because you're unhappy, do the work on yourself first before you leave. Because you may find that the things that you're looking at that you're unhappy about change because you've done the work. Okay, enough on that. Step number two, find your inspiration. Just it, it, and this, I'm gonna give you some, some places to find inspiration. And that's why I use this graphic in the background. Here we are stuck in our little cubicles. The inspiration comes when we sit down or when we're driving mindfully 
and um, we don't have too much music on and we're just letting our thoughts flow and what's coming at you and so it's the so, so get into that meditative flow zone and think about you know what do I really love to do and think about what did I love doing when I was between 7 to 11 years old it's very very insightful and again add to this little mix on step two what are your goals what are your long-term goals do you want to be in a management position maybe you've been in management and you don't like it anymore and you want to go back to individual contributor and and is that a life stage zone that's okay because you can always readjust these goals depending on what's going on in your life and again look at what you're doing and you love doing between 7 and 11 and this is over on that inspiration side take yourself for a walk in nature uh take a nice drive that are, you know when, when you're not going to have a lot of traffic so you can just enjoy the ride i think in one of the videos previously uh i think i referred to steven spielberg said he was a driver meaning he got his inspiration from going out on the road and just driving and so try these techniques for your inspiration and again reflecting time in solitude because in order to get past our self-doubt we have to feel somewhat grounded and so meditating on what what are my passions but don't get so hung up on passions um, let me clear that up because i think that too many people are changing jobs too often because they just don't feel passionate about it and we have to stay in it and and get into a flow and and then you may say you know i kind of like this but i would be in a better spot if i learned a little bit more about this so you need to become a better self-negotiator so that you can go to your superiors and say i love what i'm doing i think i'm kind of maxed out this is what I would like to do next. And here's how I envision that. And you can very easily tell, are they supporting you or they just want you to stay in that job forever? I've had those interviews too, <laughs> where they just say, you know what, you do your job so well, we're never ever moving you. So, you know, is that really supporting you? You want to work for people who are on your team. Um, still on, on step number two, look at others whom you admire and if you if there's no one in your immediate area go to books read 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 and um, get inspiration for how did they get there and um, and maybe pick something totally different than what you're doing because chances are if somebody's been successful you can kind of pick some nuggets out that may inspire you and ask your family and friends, when do you think I'm at my best? What do you see me doing? And one thing I do when I'm interviewing people, I'll ask them, if I call one of your references, what are they going to tell me your strengths are? And that really makes people reflect on, hmm, okay, maybe this is, um, yeah, oh, this is what my boss would say. So play around with some of those to, to get some inspiration. I have some notes here. Hold on. Um, so again, before you quit your job, as you said, you're bored, make things right where you are, meaning if you're unhappy with the people, unless it's just terribly abusive, work on yourself first and then start applying for those jobs. And, um, you know, look at your career, ask better questions. Uh, am I just playing that I'm bored or um, because here, here's a thought I wanted to give you all. We all live by six human needs. If you go to my MarianneMarkowitz.com website under test, I have two up there, one for archetypes and one for the six human needs. We have six human needs. Um, two I want to focus on today are certainty and uncertainty, otherwise called variety. We all need to have a certain certainty in life. Do I have a roof over my head? Do I have enough money to pay my bills? Um, is the temperature okay in here? Um, you know, does that make me break into a cold sweat if I think I don't have one of those needs met? Being real basic. Um, then from there, uh, let, let's play around with the job. Am I, you know, enjoying going to my, my work every day? And um, 
even an entrepreneur can get bored to death with some of the things that we have to do. So how can you play around with adding the uncertainty or the variety? And that's the dance in life, because once you have that certainty met, let's say you're in a relationship. Okay, yeah, well, I've got, you know, that uh, partner now. Um, three years down the road, you said, oh, I'm bored to tears. Okay, got to dance with that. What are you doing to um, nurture and keep that relationship going and, and not taking it for granted? So life is a dance. How are you going to dance with it? All right, so I have three things in here. Um, we've got talk to yourself like you're an interviewer. So ask yourself better questions and listen to how you're answering those questions. And um, we've just uh, find your inspiration, you know, do your meditation. I'll add this one for that, that little topic. In the morning, set aside some time before you do anything else and journal. You want to do it in the morning because our ego is not quite awake yet until after about 45 minutes. I am blown away with the clarity I get when I just sit down and start writing. So if you're in one of those places in life where I'm bored, I'm this, just say, you know, sit down, go to dollar and a half tree, whatever you want to call it nowadays, buy yourself a little spiral notebook. It doesn't have to be cute. And just sit down and write, Mary Ann, da, 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 da. Um, you know, if I were not afraid, I would do. And fill in those blanks. Commit to writing three page every morning and see what you get. You will get so much clarity. Again, these are all tools to help you with that inspirational side. That's where you see the people in the background painting, photography, planning, hanging out in the garden. And three, take, take action. Um, brainstorming, that again comes out of uh, what, what do I, where do I thrive? And again, get together with your family, your friends, the people you trust and say, where do you see me at my best? What do you think my strengths are? All right, I always like to keep these between 12 to 13 minutes. I think I've covered it. Oh, and play around just you know go out on job interviews just start practicing because it's a good skill to have and you may get out there and interview with other companies and say you know what these guys um where i am now i actually have something to work with here it, it gives you some really strong insight by um keeping those skills up and lastly join a board Get, get on some board, be a volunteer, and um, that will develop your leadership skills, whether you want to go into management or just be a better individual contributor. All right. I hope this has been helpful. Have a great rest of your week. If I'm so inclined, I may do something for Friday. I um, seem to have a lot of uh, likes on getting out in nature, and um, I can always talk about that. All right. Have a good one. Bye.